Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. My name is Nick and I'm a top author on TradeView. And as a top author today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can become a profitable trader by exploiting multi-time frame technical analysis and order flow. Now let's not waste any more time. Let's go straight in the charts to find some good trading opportunities. Today, I want to speak about Euro CHF. And the reason for which I want to speak about Euro CHF is because I want to show you how confluence in the market actually works. And obviously, I also want to speak about Euro CHF because the pair is very near to providing to us another very good trading opportunity. So obviously, I want to perform also a full analysis on it. So what I will be doing is first analyzing the market from a technical perspective. We will then go down and see what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market. And then by the end of the video, you will know exactly what kind of opportunity we can be currently looking for on this pair. And as usual, I will keep the analysis very educational. The focus of today's lesson will be confluence. So let's get straight in the analysis. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what do we have? Now, from a monthly perspective, we have a market that has just provided a very strong impulse to the downside. Now, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse. And if you do this, you can see that you have a 0.618 Fibonacci retracement, which is at this level here. And you can see that the market went and retraced exactly to this 0.618, which is the reason for which I have it in red, because most of the times the market will create a retracement to the golden ratio before starting the continuation to the downside. However, in this case, the 0.618 was inside of another structure resistance area, creating a confluence of resistance that the market tested and rejected very aggressively to the downside. In fact, what we had was an area here of previous monthly support, which is now turn resistance. In fact, the market had created this impulse to the downside, followed by this retracement. And after that, the market broke that support to the downside. And after a structure support area is broken to the downside, the support is turned resistance. So we had a 0.618 Fibonacci retracement inside of a monthly resistance area, creating a confluence of resistance from which we definitely did expect the market to show a rejection to the downside. So the more layers of confluence that you can find in a specific area of the chart, the more you have the probability that the market will respect that area and reject it. In this case, we had two confluence eight zones inside of here, two confluence, two layers of confluence inside of here, given by the 0.618 and the structure resistance that the market tested and rejected quite aggressively to the downside. So on the monthly situation is very clear. Let's go down on the weekly and see what we have. Now, from a weekly perspective, what do we have? On the weekly, we have a market that clearly went and tested that confluence of resistance that we have identified on the monthly, created a lot of rejections. Look at all these wicks went from creating higher highs to creating lower highs and then just melted to the downside. So on the weekly, we had a perfect deceleration at the resistance, confluence of resistance before the rejection to the downside. On the weekly, situation is extremely clear. Going down on the daily, what do we have? Now, from a daily perspective, first of all, we can see that the market had created a huge area inside it, created a lot of sideways movement and it basically remained stuck inside of this range. However, the market did provide few opportunities. In fact, if remember, we spoke about Euro CHF after this impulse and correction. When the market was here, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here, we wanted to see the market create the move to the upside. That is exactly what the market did. Then I spoke about Euro CHF again after this move to the upside and I explained all the reasons for which from here, we wanted to see the move to the downside to complete the W formation and the neckline. And again, that is exactly what the market did. Then I spoke about Euro CHF after the market had provided this W formation. And I explained all the reasons for which from here, we wanted to see the move to the downside to complete the pattern at the previous resistance, 
now towards support. And again, that is exactly what the market did. Then I spoke about EURCHF again after this impulse. And I explained that in this impulse, there is only one candle which is not related to the move, which is exactly this green candle here. So what we expected was a retracement exactly to this candle before the rejection lower. And again, that is exactly what the market has just provided to us. And I will link all this previous analysis in description. So you find everything linked in description. You can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. But at the moment, what is the situation? How we can be looking to capitalize on the next move of Euro CHF? Now, at the moment, from a daily perspective, what we can see is that the market has just provided a very strong impulse to the downside. Now, this impulse has also broken below a quite strong structure area. In fact, all this zone was previous support. In fact, it was acting as support here, against support here, against support here, and against support here, which, now that it is broken to the downside, is turn resistance at this area. So on the daily, we have an impulse and correction to previous support, not to resistance, from which we can expect the continuation to the downside. Now, as we have already seen on the monthly, also on the daily, if we want to measure the correction, what we have to do is take our Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse. And what we can see is that the 0.382 and 50% retracements are lining up perfectly with the structure resistance that we have from a daily perspective again creating a confluence of resistance inside of this zone from which we can expect a retest before a rejection to the downside. Now, how we will be approaching this kind of situation with students? Now, before I show you that, let's first go and give a quick check at what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market. And obviously, if you're able to read what the order flow is, for the commitment of traders. You're able to position yourselves with the hedge funds, so the smart money in the market, and you do have an advantage over your competition. Now, on the euro, what we can see? On the euro, we can see that with the last report, we had 4.2K shorts getting added. Net positions are clearly decreasing. We went from 211K all the way down to 165K net positions. So clearly, net positions are greatly decreasing, which is definitely great. And if with the new report that will come out today, we will see more shorts getting added on the euro. A continuation to the downside on euro CHF is definitely possible. If we go and see what we have from a CHF perspective, we can see that with the last report, we definitely have seen an increase in net positions from 1.4K to 14K. Also, the long exposure has greatly increased from 27.8% from all the way up to the 41.1% that we currently have here, with also a lot of long exposure increase from the last report to the one that we currently have. So from 35% to 41%. So definitely CHF is strong with currently 21.6K longs and 7.2K shorts from an institutional perspective. So if this will continue, so if we will see more longs getting added on the CHF and more shorts getting added on the euro with the new report that will come out today, we can definitely expect more continuation to the downside. And how we will be approaching this with students? Now, if the market will give us a retracement inside of this area, we have to be reactive and not predictive as usual, because now we have stacked as many probabilities on our side as possible. We have analyzed all the time frames, monthly, weekly, and daily, which are the best time frames for the direction of the market, but we still haven't waited for proper confirmations. And as usual, monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the COT data are the best time frames when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. But the best time frame when it comes to confirmations and entries is the four hours. And at the moment on the four hours, we can see that the market has started the retracement quite aggressively. However, we still don't know how the market will approach this area. At the moment, it seems like we will approach this area with very strong bullish momentum. And if that will be the case, we absolutely cannot be looking for any kind of shorts, because at that point we will be shorting a bullish market, which is never a good idea. So when the market and if the market will retrace to this area, what we will be doing with students is, as usual, waiting for proper confirmations. So inside of this area with students, we will be monitoring price action from a four hour perspective, and we will be waiting for the market to shift 
from a four hour bullish market to a four hour bearish market. And only if the market will shift from a bullish to a bearish market and provide to us one of our valid entries, only at that point we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk reward and very good probabilities for the move to the downside and completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside and obviously creation of a lower low. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. Also, make sure you go and check out the mentorship program. You find it linked in the description. You first learn all the rules of my rule based strategies in the program and then you trade them live with me. In fact, every single day you get a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply the strategies with entry, stops, take profits as well as having me answering every single question that you have every day, including the weekends. So I really suggest you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in.